All right, should I start, Tim? Yeah. So okay. All right. All right. I sit tall. I sit. I have a long body. Yeah, I sit tall too. All right. Welcome you to Tough not. Questions. I'm your host Jeff Sheen with his co-host Tim McLaughlin. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. That's his little patented hello. And today we're with guest Steve Gillespie. Hey, everyone. Uh, Steve, uh, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> I'm doing really well. All right. I'll write Thank that down. All just, right. This is my second day in New York and my whole, basically my whole life. Great. This yeah. is your second day in New York? Yeah. Ever. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I came here one other time for a uh, last comic standing audition. And How'd I, you do? I did four minutes in front of Wanda Sykes and two other producers. Uh-huh. And when I pulled out the microphone uh-huh. to start my set, the cord came out. Oh, classic! Oh, yeah. oh boy! Yeah, I just you, made fun of myself for four minutes. Did you do the? Did cla- not move in. Move did on. Did you do the classic? Uh, just like sex, huh, Wanda? <laughs> you get it. <laughs> that would have gotten you through, I bet. That yeah, probably would have gotten you. Yeah. Be a real hack about it. And then I got really drunk after that. And that's, oh, that's about sure, it. <laughs> sure, sure. And now you're back for uh, redemption. Another last comic standing. No, I'm just. <laughs> I'm walking around looking for Wanda Sykes. What, I'm just trying to find where she is. And this is your revenge tour. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve takes New York. <laughs> two revenge style. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to ask you some title. questions. Yeah. What do you think about all that? <laughs> the title sucks. No, I just can't. That's good. I came over the top of my dome. Well, Steve, I'm going to ask you questions. Uh, you seem to be aware of the pod. No jokes. No jokes. Don't joke around. I'm funny. I do the funny stuff. Okay. Yeah. So you just want me to play it straight, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Tim's the funny, funny one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to be funny right. here. I'm just your vehicle for you guys to be funny. Mm-hmm. I got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's all it. this is. And Jeff then... and I bully you, and we are funny about it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you leave, yeah. and then we do our Patreon episode Ooh. where we talk about you. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, we break down your answers. Wonderful. Yeah. Which you can check out at patreon.com slash tough questions. Yeah, and if you want to, you can pay for the Patreon and listen to <laughs> All right. About you. All right. Absolutely. Can you give me a link or something after the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim, send yeah. him a link. Yeah. I'll send you a link. It's patreon.com slash tough questions. All right. Do you guys have job. a lot of Patreon followers? No. Okay. We have eight. <laughs> Do we have eight? We're at eight now? Eight? We're at eight. That's, That's pretty fantastic. good. That's fantastic. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. We're Patreon climbing. For a while. I got like two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people like hearing us talk trash. Yeah. All right. And you're really going to probably get shredded after this. <laughs> and Steve, you got to get you got to get above a five to do your plugs at the end of the show. What do you mean you got to get above a five? What does that mean? He, Jeff's going to score you out of ten. Yeah, oh, you get a score out of ten. <laughs> Just so I can plug my own stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need yeah. to get above a five. a half hour on the subway to get here, and I can't even <laughs> That's plug not bad. It was only a half hour to get here? Yeah, I missed the first train, and then I... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, That's not too still bad. still getting used to it. Dude, you know what I saw this morning? What'd, What'd you say? That? Synchronized guys shooting up. Two guys shooting up at the exact same time. There Did they have music of, going, too? No. <laughs> no, but there are a lot of heroin addicts over here where we're at. Yeah. You're always yeah. talking about the heroin addicts. Dude, I yeah. was like, I got through the subway. I was like, yeah. great. I'm not going to see anybody shooting up. <laughs> Turn the corner. Mm-hmm. Two guys right out in the open just shooting up. Not yeah. even hidden in the, the yeah. corridors of the subway. Mm. That's unsettling. Yeah. yeah. I saw a guy falling over slowly on the way here. Yeah. On the walk up. He's by the McDonald's and he was doing the the half fall. That's where they were. That's where they were shooting up right over by the McDonald's, right where all the families were. Yeah, right I in between you. the McDonald's and the Liberty Bagels. Yeah. And just people out eating their bagels, watching two men shoot a heroin into their veins. Getting their Mick heroin. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. All right, Steve. Let's start with the questions here. All right. Tim can rat he can go on and on about heroin. I so we gotta it. cut him off. <laughs> All right, let's see here, Steve. All right, what about this one? We'll start here. You're you're fifty percent deaf, is that right? That's correct. All right, a little more, a little more than half. A little more than half. Yeah. All right, so what sense is fifty percent better? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> smell. Yeah, yes, you can smell, smell better. I smell really well. You a super smeller? I really am, <laughs> and it's like. Like lady, you know, like if I ever have like a date with a hot lady and I'm like, oh, this lady's hot, you know, yeah, yeah. and then I kind of get in there a little bit, a little close yeah, and yeah. I can just ruin it. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, wow. What a curse of a power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so even exactly. if the smell is bad, so you and your ex, are you extra, so you're extra sensitive to smells too, then they'll That's gross you saying, out even yeah. more. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're like yeah. a, what, like daredevil, but yeah. with, but with smell. <laughs> yeah. He can smell. <laughs> he can smell yeah. crime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, every time I leave my house, it is a, I'm taking a risk. Yeah, wow. For sure. I'm taking a risk out there in the world. Especially <laughs> this little room. This is a risky room, too. That's right, yeah. it is. <laughs> Your sidekick's like, they're to your right, Steve. You're like, what? Smell! <laughs> And that's how you find crime. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a fun power this is. Yeah. All right. Where does he belong? DC or Marvel? Ooh. Where does this smelling hero belong? I'm not a nerd <laughs> enough to know. But do you know? Do you would... uh, the smelling hero would probably be, well, I would guess Marvel. <clears throat> DC's a little grittier. I feel like Marvel would have a smelling guy. Yeah, you know? yeah. We're putting him in Marvel. All right. Let's toss you a Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> it's got no- in one of the multiverses, <laughs> in one of the multiverses, the smelling guy becomes so powerful he he takes over the entire you know universe. You know? Yeah, because uh-huh. there's always one character that with like a really dumb power in like the multiverse. It's like he was so powerful they couldn't control him. Oh yeah. And he smells his way to the top of the multiverse, you know? <laughs> oh, he sniffs him. He's like Pepe Le Pew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you can smell great. Uh, mm-hmm. What's your favorite scent? Ooh. Um, this, is, this is off book. Off book. Wow. Yeah. So you can say. Uh, you can, I wasn't prepared for this question. Yeah. Yeah. You can float around on this one. Uh, lavender is a good one. Oh, I like lavender. lavender. Yeah. Oh. Lavender is a good one. My it's girlfriend's like, uh, always fucking talking about lavender and having lavender all over the place. That's okay. Nice. It like makes the you sleepy. Scent. Calming scent. Yeah. It's good. All right. Eucalyptus. That's another good one. Oh, all right. Yeah. That yeah, needs to be calm. Good for the apartment. Eucalyptus. <laughs> all right. You're right. You're right. Needs to be calm. Yeah. Needs to be calm <laughs> here. We'll just jot that down. We'll talk about that later, Tim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> makes you wonder why. All right. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right, Steve. Let's see here. What uh, since we were talking about it earlier, let's mm-hmm. do this one. Uh, what would you change about this country's drug laws? Oh, boy, don't even get me started. Oh, <laughs> oh we're getting you started here. Oh boy, old mushroom shirt himself. Yeah, getting right on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would make mushrooms absolutely mandatory. Yeah. Yes. It's like right. a, we gotta have like when you hit like sixteen, we have to you have to have a, just like a giant mushroom trip. Mandatory like 16 a, um, mush. It's like a, what a, a rite of passage. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Is that it? Is that the Everything only thing? else is perfect. <laughs> Everything else is great. <laughs> We're not touching anything else. The prison system is working really well. Okay. Uh, I would have nobody in prison for drug-related offenses. offenses. Oh. That would be a big one. Well, I disagree with you there, but we'll talk. And if you legalize (laughs) drugs, you would just (laughs) Just (laughs) just disagree with you there, but we'll (laughs) chat about it later. All right. Uh, And if, if, you know, everyone's like talking about uh, how dangerous things are for for the police, and Mm -hmm. I don't deny that, but Mm -hmm. like if we legalize drugs and then we didn't have police rummaging around in everybody's shit. Probably yeah. make the police a lot safer too. Oh, okay. All right. I thought about this. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. good. It's good you thought about it. It gives your answer credence. Yeah. Right. All right. So and Jeff's notes. Jeff will have his take on your no police. <laughs> have you guys? Not have you guys police. thought about getting like a note secretary? Like having somebody else over there. We need more space for that. Yeah, yeah. We need <laughs> That's some. true. You don't have a lot of space. <laughs> we need more yeah, space or an extra tools camera. and paper goods. Yeah. to store. Yeah, more Patreons to pay the person. I had a lady, Jeff. Did I say this on the on Graham's episode? I what? think I did. Where I had the lady come up to me at the gutter because I didn't let a bunch of these guys in because they had their IDs on their phone. Yeah, they you can't just have a, that. They just had a picture of their ID. Yeah, can you, you, do, you can't do that. Rules? No, you can't have a picture on your no. of your ID on your phone. And this I'm, guy took the bartending test. Yeah, I took the I took the test yeah. yesterday. So you can't have a picture. And there's a big sign right on the door that says "No pictures of IDs." And this girl goes, you can't do it at all? And I was like, no. She goes, you from the Midwest rule follower? (laughs) (laughs) And I go, I go, yeah. Yeah. She goes, Midwest people love following the rules. I go, well, I'm enforcing them, to be quite honest. She goes, I hope you take mushrooms once in your life. (laughs) I go, I've taken mushrooms countless times. I have an ounce in my freezer right now. And the biggest realization I've ever had on mushrooms was that I should have my ID on me at all times. (laughs) And she's like, you're an asshole. I was like, okay, bye. That's fucking hilarious. I apologize to her Do friends. people really think that's going to work? They All the time. I had to kick out four groups of people who had IDs on their phone. Like, Jesus. just pictures of their IDs. Why don't they have their IDs? I don't know. But the bartender has a good line. He always goes, uh, 
I can't take a picture of a twenty dollar bill as payment, and they're huh. like, "All right, that's know, good. It's that's a solid good. bartender." Who are line. these people? I don't know. Uh, they're all they're all under twenty five. Yeah, Everyone weird. who does it's arrogant Gen Z, huh? Well, they think it's held over from <laughs> when you could have pictures of your shit on your phone from COVID. So people sure. just think it's fine, I guess. But oh, it's truly insane. I mean, I liked her response, though. Are you from the Midwest? You rule follower. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fucking awesome. I mean, it, she was right. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. call on her part. Turned to her friends, yeah. like all proud. She's like, Midwest, like. Any like looking at me, you can't yeah. tell. We uh, we keep everything in bounds in Indianapolis. That's right. <laughs> yeah, rules are rules. Mm-hmm. I mean, if she was living in Steve's world, you know, no police. Oh, yeah. Get in oh, here. Yeah. Yeah. Get in here. Do your mushrooms. Uh, you Do know. your mushrooms. Bring your toddler in for a shot of fucking Jameson, you <laughs> savages. Yeah. No one's going to rummage in your purse. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's the world you want to live in. We'll give it to you. And uh, <laughs> we're all doing drugs. Yeah. Even heroin. What are we doing with heroin? You're keeping that around? Well, people, I mean, it doesn't stop people from doing it because it's illegal. Okay. So everybody gets a little heroin? I didn't say that. I just said you shouldn't make it illegal. <laughs> That's all. All right. You have Jeff, like safe that. places for people that are addicted to drugs all to do right. that and get help. It is better. Instead it. of just throwing them in prison. They don't get any help at all. I'll write that down. Creates heroin cut dens. Cut me off, then. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Creates heroin <laughs> dens. <laughs> Creates heroin dens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude. Jeff's Jeff's thinking of like the old west in an opium den <laughs> style situation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see here. Moving on. Uh, all right. What about this one, Steve? I'm curious. How much money do you have total? I have. <laughs> Well, I mean, are we just saying straight cash? That is or are a, we saying like assets? Uh, however you want to interpret, you know, I'll give you the option. Straight cash. Yeah. Out. Like how liquid are you or just uh, what do you, what if they did like a celebrity net worth, you could do that too. Yeah. Okay. So liquid about 15 K. That's pretty Whoa, good. That's pretty Ladies. tasty. Wow, that's nice. Ladies. That's uh, pretty <laughs> tasty. Um, and then, yeah. And then the assets. Yeah. I add another five, six hundred dollars on top. Yeah, all right. <laughs> We're fifteen five. Yeah, about fifteen five. five. Celebrity what? net worth fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, my man has a ninety five Toyota Corolla. Yeah. yeah, he does, and that's liquid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What are we doing with that? Are we just letting that grow naturally, oh, or are we we're tossing trying. that somewhere? Oh yeah, we're tossing it in the uh, the Robin Hood. Oh okay, <laughs> all, right. all right. Get the acorns. Yeah. All right, Robin Hood investor. All right. Much like you, Jeff. Have you heard of a little company called Apple? <laughs> oh yeah, you're yeah. tossing it in Apple. Yeah, yeah, I'm part owner. All right, all right. Wow, Stop. part owner of Apple in our mids. <laughs> <laughs> What a treat! I this keep buying is. your products. It's I keep small. making the rich richer, huh? Yeah, yeah. That 15's climbing to 16, 17, 18, <laughs> 19, 20. All right, Costco. Let's... That's another good one. Costco. You got Costco too? Costco stock. I'll write that down. Everybody loves Costco. Oh yeah, I was just I was to the there. moon. They won't change their hot. They won't change their price on their hot dogs. They won't. They'll they'll lose money on their hot dogs, but they keep them at a dollar fifty. Mm-hmm. Wow. The CEO was like, we'll never change the price. They're going to stay $1.50. And I was like, this is a good company. I love hot dogs, and I love their hot dog pricing strategies. Yeah. What's funny is I, um, I uh, and I don't mean to be funny. Sorry. It's all right. No, uh, you can be a little funny. Yeah, yeah we'll just, see where this goes. I, but don't, like, do your, like, if Jeff asks you a question, don't, like, jump into a bit. By oh, Ryan I have Allen's a Costco time. bit. I'm about all right, to, do your no, Costco bit. No, but I, uh, I, I'm invested in Costco, but I do not have a Costco membership. Oh, no? I had one to get my hearing aids, and then I got rid of it. They should give you one, I feel like. If you're invested? Yeah. I agree yeah, with that. Should. Wait, you got a Costco membership to get the hearing aids? Yeah, because you get cheap. You need them in bulk. You get almost like a third of the price. <laughs> yeah, my man's got bulk a pallet. Aids. <laughs> my man's got a pallet of hearing aids at his house. <laughs> man, what would a pallet of hearing aids even look like? <laughs> He's oh, burning man. through his hearing aids. <laughs> this this one's spent. <laughs> yeah. Listening to so many podcasts, I bet. Just oh, cooking yeah. through to his hearing aids. Uh, all right. And you never been to Costco? I've been in there. You've been in there. Did you get the hot dog at all or no? No, I got the pizza slice. Pizza oh. slice also not going to change the price of the pizza slice. Is that also the yeah. thing that they said? Wow. Okay. All right. 
<laughs> I mean, this is a solid company. I'm going to circle it for investment. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Let's break. Oh, let's we'll do this one. We'll do a uh, top. What are your top five or top five? Top three sitcoms. Oh, fuck. Ooh, you got three. So it's yeah. situational comedy. Uh, yeah. Top three uh, sitcoms. That's damn, tough, man. It is tough. Yeah, give me because three. I kind of stopped watching them over the years. You know, like I don't, I'm not really my thing now. But I, I did, you know, Seinfeld. I guess Seinfeld. Be happy, yeah, Seinfeld's be real good. Hacky. I kind of mm. want to go deep dive though because I kind of yeah. stopped watching them. So do you guys remember Hey Dude? Yeah, from oh, Nickelodeon? Nickelodeon. Yeah, I, remember yeah. That was, I, guess I got that really was a, into that one. I guess that was a sitcom. Yeah, and then Salute Your Shorts is another good one. Oh, wow. two Nickelodeon yeah, sitcoms. Yeah, yeah, Salute Your Shorts. Wow. I love Salute Your Shorts. Yeah, it was good. I remember yeah. I found it online a while, a long time ago. Like uh, someone had burned all their VHSs onto the, like they'd recorded it from the TV and then put it on it. I think it was on, um, da- uh, what's that, Daily, not Daily Wire, what's it, Daily Motion. All of them were on Daily Motion. Holy shit. Yeah. What, so you got a bootleg version of... Another bootleg. I went yeah. three bootlegs deep <laughs> to watch uh, all the salute your shorts. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> like Jeff, can I guess? Can I guess what it is? What the real answer is? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can take a guess. All right. Well, this is my answer. Thirty Rock. Number Ooh, one. Yeah. I like Thirty Rock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, How I Met Your Mother. I think is on there. Oh. And, but oh no, you're gonna say Big Bang Theory, Young Sheldon, and Two and a Half Men. Oh, so <laughs> close! Are you guys like close? getting off school and just no? This the is TV there's, a re- there's an a- there's a right <laughs> answer to this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was uh, Cheers, Frasier. Oh, Cheers! <laughs> oh, I forgot about Cheers. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put Cheers. I'm putting Cheers in there instead want- of uh, instead of um, uh, Hey Dude. If you're taking off cheers. Hey Dude, yeah, I forgot about Cheers. All right. Hey what are some out. modern ones? What are ones that are going on right now? Oh, uh, the Goldbergs, maybe. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait. Mo- it was it Cheers, was... Frasier, Modern Family. Oh, Modern Family. Modern yeah. Family's a good mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not a spinoff of Cheers. <laughs> There's only the two. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, news Radio. Oh, News Radio is great. You want News Radio? I in? want News Radio. Am I taking off uh, yeah. Salute Your Shorts? Yep. All right, all right. All right. News Radio was fantastic. Wow, you cut both your Nickelodeon picks. Got them out of there. Yeah. Why? Why would you replace them for? Why? Yeah. Why? Let's I just break didn't it feel, down. Give me your thoughts. I felt like I watched those as a child. Yeah. And this is an adult podcast. <laughs> 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 this is a, a podcast. This is a podcast for adults. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Excellent answer. Yeah. This ain't a kids podcast. Yeah. We don't do this shit for no babies. <laughs> That's yeah. right. This is a grown yeah. adult podcast. Um, why'd you pick Hey Dude first over Salute Your Shorts though? It was just the first one I thought of. Um, well, why'd you get rid really of it? I really had that it? show in my mind. I haven't seen it in so long, and I've just been thinking about it a lot. They have this great episode where they um, they have to play softball against the rival ranch, and then they get a they get a ringer, oh, they get yeah. like a professional player to come play, and then I think he gets hurt, so they need to they need to still have uh, the main guy, mm-hmm. the, the dad still has to play, oh, yeah. and he's terrible. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. no! How's it end? I, I think he hits a home run at the end. Oh, that's good. And then they win yeah. the game. Yeah. All right. What's the next episode? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck! <laughs> it's the only one I remember. <laughs> close your eyes, Tim. Take us through the series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite episode of uh, Saved by the Bell, since you guys asked. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is yeah, when, we did. We're is when what's her name? Spano. Jesse Spano. Uh-huh. Right? Which is that one was the character? That? I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. She gets addicted to uh, uh she oh. gets addicted to speed pills cuz yes. she wants to do really well yeah. on her test. Yeah. That is it, a good episode. Yeah, it really yeah. really hits you home. Yeah, that home. was a big uh cultural irrelevant episode, you know. Yeah. Irrelevant? <laughs> irrelevant. Yeah, it was culturally irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> no real reason to have it to be honest. Uh, who's addicted to speed? Yeah. <laughs> We're a benzo family. <laughs> All right, let's cook on because now it's aimed at me and I don't like it. Um, next question. All right, Steve, where's part of your childhood? What was it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, let's go back to that. Jesus. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was the worst oh, part of your childhood? Yeah. Oh, man. Our listeners are dying to know. They love knowing this kind of shit. I mean, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is definitely a one thing for sure, but I just, oh, that's no. not a public. Uh, that's not public. Yeah. Um, well, it's going to cost you a point. 
<laughs> That's fine. I understand. I'm not being yeah. honest enough. Steve doesn't want to get talking about getting raped in the woods. It's going to cost him a damn point. <laughs> it cost you a point. <laughs> damn, my man will not open up. <laughs> it wasn't the woods. <laughs> but um, Could have had a point. All mm. right. Man, that's tough. Yeah, I guess you know. I mean, I had a divorce to deal with. Oh yeah, oh, the divorce. Tough. Is that what you're going yeah, with? Yeah, maybe that was rough. I don't know. COD. I mean, it's Try probably a lot of you know mm-hmm. everyone calling me gay forever, and then yeah. and then and then realizing that I am right. a little yeah. gay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that they're right, you know. As you get older, that's probably the hardest. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. they were right the whole time. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right, what are we going with? Are we going divorce or are we going being called we'll, gay? We'll go divorce. divorce. We'll go divorce. There's nothing wrong with being gay. All right, divorce. I can't spell it. E. All right, divorce. Take me there. <laughs> <laughs> Quit, Jeff. You can't go there every time. All right, here's one. Here's a fun one. Here's one for you. So I remember being about 12. Oh, yeah, we're going and then, there. Uh, my stepmother telling me, she's like, oh, because I was born premature. That's why I lost half my hearing. And mm. Yeah. And, oh, really? uh, yeah. Born just early enough to not have half of his hearing. Yeah. The yeah rest they of didn't it was finish fine. it. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't finish it off. <laughs> uh, still like, mid developing. Yeah. Dick, uh, though? Full dick. Uh, um, and my stepmom was like, oh, I remember when you were born. I was at the hospital and I was holding you. And I was like, it took me a few minutes to, like, wait, what? Huh? Huh? Hold wait, on. Your stepmom? Yeah. I was at the hospital when I was born. So. Oh. My parents split. Okay. And then my dad was with my stepmom. And then my dad and my mom fucked. <laughs> yeah. Fun, right? Wow. Good stuff. So yeah. you like, were, He's still trying to put it together. Yeah, I'm still <laughs> putting it together. Wait. So you were like a mild make or after breakup sex from your parents? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know when you break up with someone, then you got a bone one last time? Yeah, exactly. Wait, so wait, your dad was with your... Stepmother. Stepmother. They broke up? No, they were... They were still together. They were together. And then my dad and my mom were like, God damn. <laughs> your dad cheated on her. So my mom, my dad cheated on my mom with my stepmom and then cheated on my stepmom with my mom. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Let's yeah, salty nice. Dad. Let's go. Nice. All right. I'm going to write down salty dad. Yeah. Salty Dude, dad. Salty dad, huh? Yeah, he's so salty. Just from all the sweat, from all the yeah. fucking that he's yeah. doing. Bouncing around between these two women. Yeah. Did he get a kid out of the other woman? He did, my younger brother. He's a beautiful <laughs> boy. I love him. He's my best friend. Nice. That's yeah. great. It's all worked out just fine. <laughs> wow. Half brothers, Everyone's. best friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good show title. That it's not bad. Show. Yeah. Yeah. What bond is stronger? Uh, best friends or half brothers? I think best friends is way stronger than half brothers. You think? I don't uh, know. It's a I tough don't know. Call. I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I consider him my full brother. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I consider Jeff my full brother as well. <laughs> All right. We'll go brother then. Brothers closer than friends. All right. <laughs> that's a little little note there. Oh, uh, it's good that you're putting it in. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How brothers are so I don't, get to, I don't get to just be here for <laughs> that. We do it without you. I have to, is that the eight? Patreon followers or are the comedians that you had on that have to watch? <laughs> yeah. well, I, don't I, know, think, I think one of them is. I think one of them's Doug Smith. You I think? really do think that Doug subscribed to listen to his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I'm tempted. What is it? Three dollars? What are you guys charging? Five bucks. Five a bucks. Month? Yeah. yeah. Subscription. Yeah. Yeah. We Ten tra- to watch. Mm-hmm. Well, as you guys know, I got that kind of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do. True. Yeah, you do. It really. I mean, you're all liquid, so it'd be fine. Yep. Seventy five for around the Just world. move some things around. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sell some stock. Call my advisor mm-hmm. yeah 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 this is a whole i mean really we're just trying to make money off of comics anxiety <laughs> i love it <laughs> who's your financial advisor it. dave wait so <laughs> 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 huh, i say so you, <laughs> i say invest in cigarettes <laughs> well, dave will save you money there's no doubt dave, oh, will, that's dave true. will find you a deal oh yeah i'll do that uh what about this one here uh let's go uh let's see what uh what would make you stop working the road 
Oh, interesting question. Yeah, what would do it? I don't know. Yeah. Like, uh, completely? I can't work. I can't do any road gigs. You're out. You're done. So we're, I can still do stand-up, but I, it has to be in New York or whatever city I live in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're cooked. Yeah, the road is off the table. Yeah. Oh, what, what caused that? You got to be at home. Financial stability? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think is the main answer there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. want to say financial stability? Yeah, I think so. All right. So yeah. you, you start raking in, I mean, we're talking about 30K liquid? If we double it, yeah. I'm <laughs> fucking, you're 30K liquid? No one would ever see me room. again. I'd be in Mexico room. on the yeah. beach. Yeah, you're on the run. So it's the money. You want the, you want the sweet I dollar. No, I mean, I do. I, I actually like to travel a bit. I don't know. It's a tough one. Yeah, I go back and forth. I hate it, and I love it, and I hate it, and I love it. Are you allowed uh, to? What yeah. if you go to a city and do stand-up, Jeff? Are you allowed to do that if you're not getting paid? Ooh. I can just still travel. Yeah, he can still travel. He's not stuck where he's at. And like yeah. maybe do like a show or something in that town. Is just that can't like, accept any money. Oh. Is, that, is that allowed, Jeff? You know what? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. You're not getting paid on the road. No more money on the road. All right. Yeah. It's forbidden. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't make it wouldn't be that much of a change, honestly. <laughs> yeah. They go, hey, great a little set. bit. They open the wall. They go, oh wait, no, it's you. Yeah. Yeah. Close it back up. yeah. I got the email. Do you still get paid out of a wallet when you <laughs> yeah, do road gigs? Yeah, here's they your open wallet. wallet. Mm. Here's one, two, <laughs> three. Jeff, Jeff, when Jeff, after Jeff's gigs, they're, sometimes they're so mad at him, they're really slowly opening that wallet. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Come on. I've had some gigs try to get out of paying because <laughs> I did so bad. <laughs> For real? Oh, yeah. yeah. No. He, he bombed at an old folks' home horribly, and they uh-huh. didn't want to pay him. Retirement community. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Hey, you signed that contract. So. Yeah, but they already signed it, so we got binding the yeah. agreement. Yep, you paid for the attempt. The geezers did not want to cough it up. No. All right, let's see. This is run money. Uh, where do you see the economy at this time next year? Oh, we're common, dude. We're common. Oh, yeah. 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 America, let's go. <laughs> yeah. We're Uncle good. Joe Biden, he's got us, dude. I know it, man. We got a new election coming up. It's, you know, I mean, we're, I, th- I don't have no idea, dude. Yeah? Actually, yeah. You're going to say cooking positive outlook? I'm fucking, we're going balls to the wall, dude. Let's go. You want positivity? Yes. All right. I'm a bull. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's All a right. bull market. Being a bull, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you should I go take it. a picture of yourself with the big statue down on Wall Street. I'm today. gonna do that. Right? Yeah. I just, I'll send right, you, you better. better. Costco to the moon. <laughs> uh, let's see. How attractive do you see yourself on a scale of one to ten, and why? <laughs> Boy, that's crazy. You know, a hard usually question. I would be like a seven, right? Okay. Because I, I mean, usually I'm like uh, rock climbing a lot, so I'm, a, I'm, I'm usually a much more like you know I have a little more in beef oh, on me, oh, yeah, a little yeah. cut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I haven't been doing that as much because I've been golfing so much. So now I have like the oh. old guy golf oh, belly oh, sure. and like you know just that whole thing going because it's nice weather out. But um, so right so- now I'm probably down to like a five and a half, six. Five and a half, six. Yeah. All right. Why is that? Because of the body. I think the, the body, man. I think the golf, yeah, I got the golf man bod going right now. It's more of like a dad sort oh, of. Oh, all right, all right. Which some chicks are into. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you, know, you get me in the wintertime, I, I I bump that up to a seven. Oh, okay, get, all right. I get pretty, you know, he's, he's fucking. <laughs> See that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big. Okay. Yeah, that's what oh, happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you hanging on with like two fingers, one-handed. You know, once I get about two or three it. months in, when I'm climbing three days, three four days a week, yeah, I start to get some crazy shit. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. I used to climb. I was terrible. I was always so fat and heavy. I could never do anything. You ever try it with ropes? What climbing? Uh, oh, with a belay and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd get up there. Yeah. I the best I ever did was without a rope, and then I slipped from very high up and fell. Bouldering? Thing. No, just on the at the rock climbing place. Ooh, you, you didn't you get yelled bold- at. It's probably bouldering, right? Bouldering is when you don't use ropes and that's not there's not the rope area, but the big mats that you can yeah. fall on. Yeah. Yeah, it only goes like ten feet high or whatever. Maybe fifteen yeah. tops, yeah. You kinda of just go side to side. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a boulderer. Yeah, you are. I like to do a little bouldering. Yeah, you bouldering. Don't, is that, the is there some gyms do. around these parts? Vital. Yeah. There's one in but, Williamsburg right by the gutter, actually. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you can go there. It's get your climb on. Do my set. Yeah, I mean it's gonna you're gonna be out that fifteen K though. It's a fucking pricey one. Or is it really? Yeah. Matt Backus. Do you know Matt Backus? 
I don't know. I do not. Uh, now he. Is I'll, that one I'll, of the questions? I'll get you um, in touch with him. He knows a bunch of places. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he's a climbing guy. He's always climbing. He loves to do it. All right, golf is making you slip numbers, and you really want that. You want a winter body. What's yeah, your handicap, though? Body. I'm a 14. Whoa, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. It's coming down, too. Uh, nice. Shot an 82 the other day. Whoa. 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 Well, look at you, you golfing maniac. I know. That's I pretty it. good. It's good. So I play in a league. <laughs> a league yeah, of dude. golf. It's fun. And this is Frisbee golf, right? No, oh, man. I'm, I'm just fucking... guessing based on uh, how I look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Frisbee golf's fucking. Uh, oh, no. Oh, all right. Next one, since we're talking sports. Uh, who do you blame for your lack of masculinity? <laughs> oh boy, uh, that's a great question. Yeah, who do you blame? Because there's definitely a lack. Ah <laughs> uh, man, I gotta say Bob Dylan. I think Bob Dylan really taught me from a young age that you can just be a little bitch. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Bob yeah. Dylan. He's such a little bitch. He kind of is, though, but for he, real. yes, he really is a little bitch, and that still be cool. You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that's so. It. We're blaming Bob Dylan, yeah, the creative Dylan. genius himself. Yep. Wow. All right. Took away your mask. We got a whole other page here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is perfect. We're right at thirty minutes, Jeff. Are we? That's yeah. perfect. We're is right this an hour middle. long cast? Yeah, mm-hmm. we're about, we try to get it about an hour. All yeah, right. yeah. We we usually touch about an hour. So I mean, with the halfway point, Bob Dylan. <laughs> Well, you, I mean, it's true. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. I got oh, it was all poetic. And he's a big fucking hair thing going. Yeah, he yeah. weighs eight pounds. And he's still, you know. Yeah. All right. Bob Dylan's slaying out there, dude. You know what? <laughs> I'll add a point. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That'll make up for your uh, childhood. All right. Yeah, you know. I love it. Whatever happened in your dark past. <laughs> clear that up with Bob Dylan. Damn. We're not getting the origin story of the man who sniffs crime. <laughs> 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 what was it? We'll just, say, we'll just say that I was, you couldn't hear very well. I was a very vulnerable little lad. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 no. I couldn't hear him sneaking up on oh, me. Oh, Bob Dylan, <laughs> save us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the best seafood? Uh, you mean like restaurant or like just seafood dish? S- seafood. Wow. Seafood dish. What Alaskan king crab. Legs. Oh, yeah. You going crab legs? Crab legs, yeah. Oh, basic. I mean, mine's basic as hell, too. What is yours? Shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail? That is pretty basic. (laughs) I fucking love shrimp cocktail. You can get that at, like, Applebee's. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's good. But I also like um, uh, lobster bisque. Ooh, yeah. now we're talking. I just threw one out. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, lobster bits. I'm just trying to get these points. Yeah, that makes up for Don't a don't try to get points or you're gonna lose points. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. If you reach too far, <laughs> you know, I may not be able to smell as good as you, but I'll smell it out. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, what's what your, about this one? What's your favorite seafood, Jeff? My favorite seafood? I mean, does it matter? I'm not here answering questions. It's yeah. fucking. I think the audience cocktail, wants I to mean. know. It's actually crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. You dunk them in the butter. Oh, and they're delicious. But really, yeah. are you just doing it to eat the butter? Maybe. You know? It's true. Are they just a vehicle? It's butter's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's good yeah. butter. Yeah, butter is good. All right, so that was a nice softball. And for the ne- next page, so we're going to move on a little harder here. Uh, let's see. Most yeah. shameful moment. And how much do you regret it? Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Well, Jeff, you're, hit, you're hitting them hard today. I just got a lot of them, you know. There's definitely a lot of them. Yeah, uh, you got a lot? Give us number one, baby. I Man. Last two episodes have been hard-hitting questions. Yeah. I um, mm-hmm. The first day, I transferred colleges, and the f- I went to st- I transferred, and I went to Stevens Point my junior year in Wisconsin. And I was first day on campus and I didn't really know the lay of the land, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I went to the cafeteria from my dorm and the cafeteria food, like I left the cafeteria and like within two minutes I was like, I'm like walking. I'm like, I'm going to, sh- I'm going to shit my fucking pants. Here. Oh, yeah. oh and, no. And then I couldn't really, I don't know if it was like the stress of all the alarms going off in my head. You know, I'm like, I got to get fucking <laughs> yeah. somewhere quick. Uh-huh. And, um, I couldn't really figure out where or really remember where I was supposed to go to get to my dorm. So then I was like, I saw the gymnasium, like the athletic. 
oh, where all the jocks are? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and honey. So I just like ran in there, right? Oh, and then yeah. I was like trying to find a bathroom. The place is fucking huge. And mm. I find the men's locker room. I go in there. <laughs> and then it's a huge, it's like a, you know, state school. So there's a huge men's locker room. I can't find it. Can't find out where the fucking bathrooms are. I come around the corner. There's a dude there, like changing or whatever oh nice and uh oh yeah take me there <laughs> oh Jeff, yeah quit yeah going yeah. there <laughs> yeah and uh i'm like hey man do you know where the bathroom is he's like yeah it's right down there and right when you said right down there like i had shorts on my i shit oh, fucking <laughs> all down my leg oh, everywhere no. and he just looked at me and i was just like <laughs> no, no. But there was a shower there, so oh, that's good. Oh, that's shower and put my shitty shorts back on. <laughs> wow. wow, that was pretty bad. There's Did definitely, there's definitely been other moments, but I can't really just recall them. That's a tough one though. Shitting yourself in front I'm of someone, someone is yeah, tough. it's bad. Mm-hmm. And then have yeah. it like right down your leg and all that. It was awful. Wow, shit yourself in front of the quarterback. All right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I can just imagine like that guy has friends uh-huh. probably. So I'm sure he saw me on campus. Yeah. Hey, there's a fucking guy. Who's yeah, yeah, about. Like, yeah. No wonder I never got laid in that school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was telling all the cheerleaders and all yeah. them. You the know. Stevens Point pooper, they called him. <laughs> 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 yeah. SPP. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Damn. I've had that. I had it happen at work, though. I shit myself at work, and I went up. I go, hey, Dad. I told my dad. I was like, hey. You're your dad? Yeah. <laughs> you are working for your dad, and yeah. you shit yourself? Yeah. I go, hey, man, I shit myself. I think I'm sick. I need to go home. And he goes, just take your, just change pants and go back to work. You're just hung over. I go, it's in my socks and shoes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes, go home and take a shower. He's <laughs> <laughs> really disappointed with his son, you think, at that point in his life? Uh, or he'd already been there. He already got to that point, and this was just added. <laughs> I mean, this was a long string of me being hung over at work and really fucking up. So, yeah. I think you, like, it, put windows together or something, right? And I had window did. coverings. I put up window coverings. Yeah. So, but at that point, what I did in the warehouse was I would open a big box, take the little boxes out, mm-hmm. open the little boxes, take the contents from the little box, put them back in the big box. Oh. I did that every day for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. Best job I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> loved it. So I can do that kind of work all day long. Was it I, just like the warehouse bros? Just Is that what made it fun? No, it was just oh. me back there. Oh, wow. You are a robot. Me and my Uncle Steve. Autistic, maybe a little bit. Maybe. I go up to my, <laughs> my Uncle Steve was never working. He'd just sit there and listen to Rush Limbaugh. And I go up to him. <laughs> I go up to him. I go, What you doing, huh? Fiddling with a pen? Just fiddling with a pen, you work, fiddling with a pen. He goes, go away or I'll fucking kill you. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> See you later. I love you. Go move. I love around. you, Uncle. <laughs> What's his name? I love you, Uncle Steve. <laughs> his name is Uncle Steve? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool, you man. just squish away in your poopy shoes. I'm an Uncle Steve, too. Are you an Uncle Steve? I am. Oh, that's great. Nice. Do you listen to old Rush Limbaugh apps? Yeah. No, but I have, I have listened. I don't try to listen, but I have listened. Yeah? What'd you think? I don't know why. I, it was... Um, Did you like it? No. Part of you like it? It was fascinating, really. It is. He's, he, I will say this. Rush Limbaugh, at what he did, no one did it better than Rush Limbaugh. I don't mm. think. That's, he was incredible up. at that sort of radio. Oh, yeah. He was great at it. He, he really Steve was. Steve loved him. Yeah, really, really <laughs> was. I mean, sometimes you're on the road, you get stuck in a dead spot. Where you don't have any radio. Yeah, let's see what these maniacs are fucking listening to. Man, I got one once where it was this Christian radio, and they were interviewing this woman who wrote a book about how being trans is satanic. Oh. And I was like, well, this is what I'm listening to (laughs) until it's over, because this is insane. It was was, insane. How is it satanic? Because it goes against God and what God created. God created you as a man, and you should stay as a man. And so it's satanic to go oh, against it? God's will. Yeah, basically. Oh, that's. I thought she was going to give you something cooler than that. No, they you don't. Know? They're like not. it's the devil releasing his, you know, his like gay femme demons. No, they're not. <laughs> Jeff, if they were, <laughs> and they're climbing into us. <laughs> Jeff, if they were, was asshole. What's happening to me? If they were cool anti-trans people, they'd be writing Harry Potter. They're not fucking coming up with good stuff like <laughs> yeah, that. That's true. That'd be great. Just a femme demon coming up. Oh yeah. It could, yeah. You, I mean, it could be you. <laughs> Just an evil demon, but he's got like barrettes in his hair. And he, yeah. he has to, wears a skirt, but also Nike high tops. You're like, oh, where is he? Yeah. All right. So you poop your pants in Stevens Point. How much do you regret this? 
very not much a ton yeah i regret it it was a, a lot it was a, I mean, it was a rough you, moment yeah. you asked what was yeah. sh- is a shameful not a regret regret yeah. shame. I said, how, and how much do you regret it oh um was it a little or a I lot mean, it wasn't like a decision you know what i mean sure. it kind of was it kind of happened to me mm. you know what i mean we'll say a little yeah <laughs> we'll say <laughs> Will yeah. like Jeff's very binary in the point where he needs like an actual answer. Yeah, I need yeah. some concrete. Uh, Likes to poop in front of others. Do you go through? <laughs> do you go through this a little bit? Yeah. Do you go through this and like make charts and stats and? Sort of uh, I mean, you know what? We may. We'll Jeff's see. hoping we pop off to the point where he can sell it for thousands of dollars. Yeah, oh, you're on your way. Thing, you're yeah. on your fucking way. We got a few <laughs> more reps, but season one episode, you know, season one of The, the Notebook. Yeah. yeah. I thought about that with set lists. Like, I would always write set lists out, and I, would, I always thought, like, oh, maybe somebody would want, like, a collector's, oh, this is Steve Gillespie's yeah. <laughs> set list <laughs> from Skyline and Appleton, Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm sure someone. 2009. <laughs> I'm sure there's someone that would love to have that i mean i have seen uh at the comedy museum or whatever it's called in jamestown there's a uh, jamestown yeah jamestown new york there's like lucille ball's hometown oh okay and they have uh george carlin's set lists yeah see that's and, what i'm talking about yeah that's cool yeah but they are uh, boring as hell to look it doesn't make yeah. it's like oh a piece of paper that says toilets question mark <laughs> <laughs> peas what about this kind of pee? And <laughs> how does the word pee? Sometimes it's pee, and other times it's for peas. That's my George Carlin. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. That's good. <laughs> I think you should run with it. One of them says eight dirty words? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's bounce down here. I like this one. Can you? You got to give me. Uh, give me five positives of the police. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. You put me on the fucking spot. Yeah, I, I want it. five. Well, why is it always three and five? Those they, are good numbers. They are good numbers. <laughs> they, uh, it's not divisible by two. That's right. Um, they have, I don't know if that's good though. They yeah. have abnormally large heads. Cops. Big heads? Mm. They have huge heads, cops. It's kind of true, I guess. I've never really Have you ever seen a cop that. with a little head? Find me one. No. Point them out. I don't know. I'm not sure it's a positive. Maybe a lady cop. Maybe a lady cop has a small head. I don't know. Yeah. I saw saw a fucking hot ass lady cop. New York has very pretty. That's a positive. Lady cops are sexy. All right. Lady cops. Sexy lady cops. All right. There's one. They're sexy. All right. Um, Baseball cards. When I was a kid, cops. See, that's what it was like really hard for my parents to understand. Like. The whole like sort of anti-police movement because like they live in a small town in Wisconsin where it's like cops hand out baseball cards. You have baseball cards from the cops with yeah. their stats. No, they were actual like <laughs> Milwaukee <killed>. Brewer <laughs> <laughs> minority death count. Eleven, <laughs> 11 discharged firearm <laughs> discharges. <laughs> Uh, no, it was of the year. It was actually um, baseball, like Milwaukee Brewer baseball players. So you see the cops, mm-hmm. and, and instead of running, you would run towards them, and you'd be like, because we were white kids, mm-hmm. and you would be like, hey, well, you know, can we get some baseball cards? And then hand yeah. you baseball cards. Wow. So, wow, that's so interesting. They have cards of their friends, or is it just their personal baseball? They're cards? of the Milwaukee it, it, Brewers. It, it was like the. Oh wait, they gave out baseball cards. Baseball cards. Yeah, I thought these were cards made. And they were like that's Officer Suarez. That's because you stopped listening immediately <laughs> yeah. and started doing your shooting minorities <laughs> bit. That it I was had a to, funny bit that I had to jump on for some fucking reason. <laughs> All right, they gave out baseball cards. Well, this was back when they that's were nice. three Don't do more. That. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's three more. I'm very nervous about this question. You guys are gonna chop it up and you're gonna ruin my fucking No my, the cops are, You're gonna ruin my reputation with Antifa. <laughs> <laughs> the cops are my best friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um You got two and you three more. This is a good one. This is a real good, good solid TQ. Good, this is a good TQ, yeah. Jeff. I'm proud of you. Sweating a little bit, huh? I really yeah. am, man. I'm, I'm having a hard time. I'm proud of you for coming up with such great questions because you don't really know Steve. I don't. Do you guys have you guys ever met before? Yeah, we, we did. Uh, we did yeah. a festival together. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We hung out a lot at that festival because everyone else is dumb. Oh, uh, there you go. No, it was fun. What festival was that? Was it the Big stupid Sky. assholes? That's right. Probably? It was Big Sky. Oh. Big Sky. Yeah. I think we might have. 
been around each other one other time, maybe one or two other times. Are you from Indi- Indianapolis as well? No, I'm Detroit and then Chicago. De- maybe Chicago. Maybe Chicago. Yeah, yeah, Chicago, yeah. 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 I think Were you we a met comedy at- bar guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe comedy bar. There you go. And yeah. now, and now that was enough time for uh, you to come I up will, with some other answers. Yeah, I will say, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do individual experiences that I enjoyed with the police, and one of them was at the comedy bar in oh. Chicago after my show. A, f- a fan, nice. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Came up to me, and, and, and there's always cops at the comedy bar. They always have a cop hanging out there. I don't know if you guys remember that. There'd be a cop there. The, like in the bar area. Yeah, I mean at the one over oh, the, the pizza place. One. Yeah, the, well, the, this happened at the newest location, which is, like, oh, upstairs, yeah. and they have a little bar. And There's uh, a cop over there. There's yeah, a cop yeah, yeah. standing there. So the cop is, like, looking at me and sees me sees the fan, like, hand me two joints. Oh. And I didn't think of anything because I think it's legal now. And, and Right. Yeah. In Illinois, is it legal in Illinois? I, I don't yeah, know. I thought, I thought oh, it yeah. was. I thought, oh, I don't know. So then the guy's like, oh, you want to smoke them? And there's a little balcony there. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So we walk out in the balcony, and we're fucking ripping J's. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and all of a sudden, the cop comes out the door onto the patio. He doesn't say anything. He starts just walking right at us. And me and this guy are like looking at each other. And then the cop pulls out his fucking handcuffs, turns the guy around, starts handcuffing the guy. And then we're both like, whoa, what the fuck? And then the cop just starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah, it was a funny. Uh, funny. I, like, I like funny cop moments. All right. Oh, with senses of humor. Cops cop- are super funny. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're really well known for their senses of humor. <laughs> I had a cop in Chicago once. I was walking home. It was fucking brutally cold out and there was this guy without his shirt on just smashing a light pole or something and the cop just goes come on man stop please <laughs> please stop i do not want to get out of my car and arrest you it is so cold please stop and he goes okay i'm arresting you now and the guy just would not stop smashing whatever he was smashing it was fucking brutal outside too oh wow See, all right, so we got three. I have Two three. More. I've had some bad experiences with the police. Yeah, well, I'm only looking for positives. What am, I, <laughs> what am I? What am I? One time, I when I was really poor, this is when I was really like, when I was like featuring on the road. You know, remember when you tried to do that? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Like Seven hundred <laughs> liquid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I lived in these. I lived in these two. I lived in a in the closet. Of yeah. a basement apartment of these two metal guys that were in a metal band. So I lived in Minneapolis. And they would get shit faced almost every night and fight each other. That was like almost what they would get in fist fights. Like oh. literally, literally little fist fights. That's pretty and metal. I had to get up in the morning and t- I don't know where I had to be somewhere. So I was in bed and uh, my fucking, I had my closet, my room closet <laughs> slash room door closed. Mm-hmm. And those guys are, I can hear them. They're fucking arguing and they start swinging. You can hear this shit's getting broken. They're fighting. Then it kind of stops for a while. And then all of a sudden, I hear a real loud commotion going on. I'm like, what the fuck? And all of a sudden, my fucking door opens. It's like five cops. Oh, boy. They got oh. flashlights. They're yelling at me. I can't understand anything they're saying. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> yeah, I can't yeah. see them. Flashlight in my face. All of a sudden, I just feel hands grab me fucking on the ground. Handcuffs. Whoa. I'm like, I'm just sleeping. Yeah, so yeah. what happened was that one of my roommates pulled a knife on my other roommate and then, like, try and, like, guess cut him too a wow. little bit. And then that dude called the police and then the police showed up. Oh. But there was another dude that was in the living Like, they pulled me out in the living room. There was another dude who's just passed out. Like, mm-hmm. they, he still hadn't woken up after all the commotion. <laughs> hadn't woke up. And they still had him handcuffed. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> just asleep? Yeah, it's just, it's just like asses all like, just, like, I'm just giving him shit. I'm like, really? You guys had to fucking handcuff this guy? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> all right, so we'll write down uh, uh, safety concerns. <laughs> <laughs> They're a concern for everyone's safety. Yeah, 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 yeah I love all that. Right, all right. I love that. <laughs> God, I <laughs> all right, one more. One more police positive. Wow. A PP. You know, they're very loyal to each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're very it loyal. A it's yeah. a brotherhood, and that's... Uh, you like loyalty. I guess I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, all right. Look at that. See, you got to five. I There's did it. five police it. positives. We made it happen. All right. I'm hoping by the end of this episode, you're back in the blue out of here. <laughs> 
I'm going to hand in my Antifa card. I don't know. I don't know when Jeff turned. He's a real cop guy now. Is he really? Yeah, he yeah. loves it. He Makes wants sense. the homeless people to be thrown in jail. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there are too yeah, many. Yeah, put them in cages. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Um <laughs> It's bumming Jeff out. Yeah, it's bumming me out, man. Dude, I, I've actually been impressed. I haven't seen that many in New York since I've been here. And Denver is where I live. Whew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bad. All right. Well, I'm not going really to Denver. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. Don't gonna bum me out. I walked through that like uh, that little shanty town they have there, mm-hmm. and then I did a show. I was like, "Oh, I was over there." They're like, "You were over there?" I was like, "Yeah, walking around. You know, what are you? What are they gonna like, do anything?" Yeah, homeless people aren't gonna hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, They're just gonna... tough to look at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they hurt your feelings. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. They should be tough for you. Yeah, you gotta you have the, the sensitive snow. It's tough. Yeah, it's yeah, tough. I New York in itself is I feel New York. A lot of smells. reeks, bro. A lot of new smells. <laughs> You got at least you got a little bit of a rainy day uh, tomorrow when, when it gets sunny hot. out. Oh, oh, oh yeah. boy, you are gonna have a bad time. <laughs> yeah, when it the hot smell, garbage hits the air, it smells like piss and garbage outside. <laughs> it is horrific. Yeah, you'll like it. Greatest city in the world. Beautiful <laughs> town. Wouldn't live Can't anywhere get else. Of it. I love it. Uh, let's see. What celebrity has got to go? Oh, oh what celebrity one. has got to go? They're out. <laughs> <laughs> you look yeah. over. He's possessed by a femme demon. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm on the entertainment channel. Uh, is that the E Network? E, the yeah, E, yeah. e Network. Network. Mm-hmm. Boy, Marie, there's got to be a few of them that I'm, I'm just can't. You're talking to Maria Menounos. Yeah. Who's that? Just a lady that's oh, on, on the E on E on yeah. sometimes I guess. Who's the Saved by the Bell guy? He's on there a lot. Uh, oh, Mario man. Lopez. I love it when oh, I. Oh, Jeff. I love it when I <laughs> stop to get gas and then you get out and it's just Mario Lopez is fucking talking yeah. to you on the screen. Yeah, he likes you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, who's got to go? I think Will Smith. Oh, Will Smith. I'm tired of it. Oh, okay. I'm tired of the Affected whole thing. Affected by the slap, huh? I don't even. It's not even. This, it's it's yeah. it's, it's annoying. Slap. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, comedy's a brotherhood as well, and Steve's yeah. loyal. Yeah, yeah. Like very police. loyal. Yeah, he yeah. did. He slapped a brother of ours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A man, More a brother of more. ours that would brush us to the side at any moment. Yeah. Wanda, <laughs> Wanda Sykes. That's another one. Yeah. Oh yeah, you Both don't like are black. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I got to get a white one in there. Oh, and you love the police apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to find five <laughs> positives. <laughs> uh, all right, Wanda Sykes too cuz she she hurt, yeah, yeah, she fucking I know she did it on purpose. Heard another loosened, comedian. She loosened that cord she, up. She loosened the mic cord just to fuck you? I think so. Jesus yeah. Christ. Well, if you ever see Chris Rock, are you going to tell him you stand with him? I I'll attempt to. With you, Chris. Yeah. Stand over him. <laughs> <laughs> no bitch. one slaps a brother. Uh, let's see. Let's move on to this one. I like this one. All right. If you hit rock bottom, all right, mm-hmm. you hit it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who do you reach out to and why? Oh, that's an interesting question. Yeah. I got to go right to my brothers. Yeah, you yeah, going brothers? I got to go my brothers. Yeah. Pick one. Give me one. <laughs> Rock bottom. Yeah, you're at rock bottom. Probably my brother Scotty. Scotty. Younger brother, half brother. The younger half. The younger half. Oh. Half slash best friend. <laughs> half slash. Because I know I could just move right into his house if I need oh, to. Oh yeah. You know, I could just show up. Oh, is that why he'll just let you come on in? Oh yeah, and when we just golf a lot together. And oh okay. It'd be fun. Get Other... clean. Yeah, clean myself up a bit. Yeah. 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 On the course. Yeah. Well, your other nature. brother wouldn't let you move in. Mm, may probably not really why I, could, not? I could spend a day or two yeah like why is he not giving you a week oh i just think well my brother carrie i just think his girlfriend would never have it uh, is that your brother who lives in indy Didn't scotty he? yeah scotty he lives, he lives in, in outside he lives in uh bloomington normal illinois uh, now. oh yeah. that's uh, nice over there it's all right yeah all right so you scotty's he letting you, you in. met him huh uh, I met him when he was living in Indiana because you forgot you didn't have your hearing aid that your he does do, your do, his dog br- yeah my dog ate aid. my hearing aid yeah, 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 yeah. that's right <laughs> his girlfriend at the time now his wife and the mother of his children yeah she had a dog it was the first day that I met her her dog ate my hearing aid yeah oh yeah 
We're still friends. Did you have to wait for her to poop it out to put it back in? <laughs> 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 no, I just picked one off the pallet. You know what's so all cra- back. You know what's so crazy Ooh. when you drive to Bloomington, Illinois, you go through downs and then normal. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> Jesus, <What? laughs> the hackiest bit <laughs> in the world because I, I did crushes bunch, over there. Though. I did a bunch of shows over there for a while and. That was the open. Everyone's opener. Yeah. Was it really? Oh, well, they're like in Downs. <laughs> yeah, you're in Downs, and now it's normal. Okay, and everyone's like, ah, <laughs> yeah. Did you do the? Did you do the fucking? Oh, I don't do that kind of stuff. Not yeah. to no, not to my brothers. The. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I saw. Um, I didn't mean to, but I did. I saw the what's it called? Mencia. Oh, but like when I first started doing stand up and I had a real job, the guy that I worked with was like, oh, you like stand up. He bought me uh, tickets to see Mencia. So I couldn't not go. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were wearing shirts. Mm-hmm. Mencia shirts that said doo, doo, doo. like yeah. that's what the shirt said. That was his catchphrase. Yeah, Unfucking believable, dude. <laughs> yeah, funniest <laughs> fucking show I've ever seen. I, I bet fucking love. Guy's off. good. He takes all the best material from the uh, best it's, comics. It's, yeah, that's smart. It's gonna be a good show. Yeah, yeah. He didn't take any of my material. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, I, who, why would he? I he, know. He's he, I would love to see Carlos Mencia do your material. <laughs> Everyone's like, is he gay now? <laughs> I would love that. That would be. Awesome. He's been possessed actually. by a fan. That's what he should do. It should be Carlos Mencia does George Carlos. <laughs> like he does. He goes and just does everyone's hours. I'd yeah, watch yeah, that. Does? Yeah. Jeff, yeah. we're at 55. Oh, are we? All right. Let's we got cook three a questions. Bit faster. Yeah, we got a few more questions. All right. What's the worst part of being partially deaf? And uh, how you can already you told me that already. Can, can we already you? talk about this? No, oh. no. It's what makes the sense stronger. What's the worst part about partially being deaf? Yeah, um, worst part. Constantly having to ask people to repeat themselves and then getting to the point where you're so self-conscious about it because you've done it all night that you just stop doing it and you just pretend like you understood what they said and then that gets you in trouble too because sometimes oh. it's important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you hang out with me enough, you'll notice it. So you hate asking people to repeat oh, themselves. the whole fucking worst. And then uh. people... I, I, this is a bit of mine, but mm-hmm. it's uh, it is like the disability one disability where people are openly irritated with you for having. Oh yeah, it drives me nuts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You get all mad it about does. <laughs> I mean, we're close enough yeah. in this beautiful studio, but I mean, it's gotta be tough when you're in a bar and the music's loud. Oh yeah, I can't hear anything. Yeah, you're on a date or something. You can't fucking yeah. You're trying to read lips. You're trying. It's fucking. Oh, yeah. can you read lips? A bit. Yeah, a bit. I probably got to get to the. How fucking <laughs> dare you say something like that to me? <laughs> um, For those of you listening, now watching the video, Jeff said something very, very, fucked very, up. very fucked up to me. <laughs> Jeff made fun of me for being molested as a child. <laughs> this is good stuff. All yeah. right, I'm loving this. Oh, all right. What about this one? The world's heating up. Mm-hmm. All right, our friend, He's friend of the show. Heating up. Uh, Jeff you mean Asmus. like uh, fucking global warming? Global warming. Okay. Yep. yep. Right. Asmus is freaking out. Like food, food shortages. Everything's gonna collapse. You know. Like, he's actually worried about something. Yeah. He's I annoying. feel like that guy's never been worried about a thing in his whole life. Because he's Bullies got a lot. Have... He should be worried about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he does. <laughs> Bullies a strong breeze. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but he, he's about he's gonna eat bugs in the future. We'll probably be eating insects. What bugs are on your menu? For uh, ooh, uh, grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Yeah. Yep. Yep. High protein. Yeah, annoying. you can cook them. You can cook them, and they taste like it's snappy, crunchy. Mm, okay. All right. Um, Give me a few here. A few. Yeah, I want a few. A few. Why do you want a few? I want a few. I want a full meal. I'm not you gonna eat. Jeff? Would you do the thing? Would you eat the like uh, Snowpiercer? You remember Snowpiercer? Oh well, yeah, the, they're eating the fucking the spiders. And, yeah. Would yeah. you eat all that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. If I didn't know any better, if I was on a, if I grew up on a train. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the poor part of the train. Yeah, I'd eat it after I found out. <laughs> oh, there's bugs in this. <laughs> oh, oh, I was hoping so. <laughs> hey, yummy, hey, yummy. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess there's got a. Ah, uh, it's tough. Like a, a grasshopper looks to be tasty. Everything else. What about a damn scorpion on a stick or some shit like? Scorpion. Yeah. There we go. Scorpion, scorpion, scorpion on a stick. Yeah. Yep. yep. What about a grub? Oh no. Well, that's not an insect. That's true. It's not an insect. Are they're not. I would eat grubs absolutely, but grubs I didn't think it was on the Lord. table. Huh. Grubs too worms, nasty. Grubs. Wait, what are grubs then? Worms. 
Yeah, grubs are worms. Oh, those are different than insects? Insects have six legs, my man. Oh, I thought they were all just bugs. No. Huh. <laughs> I guess uh, you learned something. A centipede. Ooh. Oh, that's rough. I don't know. Yeah, but think of all those tasty legs you could fry. Yeah, the centipedes <laughs> are they're longer. You, you know, you wouldn't have to eat as many. I guess. Yeah, that's how you eat it. Dear Lord. <laughs> oh my Lord. You guys, good thing you had that on camera. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, There's that <laughs> gay <laughs> demon again. <laughs> <laughs> it's possessed him. Uh, let's see. Two more questions. Uh, let's see. Where do you see yourself in six years? I love it that you've, you've added a year to the five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, normally, uh, he's been, this is, uh, this been is all a, around This is a the tough place. interview. Just, yeah. You know, I like, wanted to make is, a little This different. is the second interview. They give you the five-year question, and then when you make it to the second interview, they fucking tack you a year ask, on it. Did you ask someone where they'd be in 30 years? I yeah. think maybe. Yeah. I think I've done a five. Let's yeah. do a six. Six, six years. years. Bone in your mouth. No. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he brought her back to life. Oh, oh, wait, your oh. mom's dead? No, she's very much alive. <laughs> Is she? Uh huh. Are you fucking Uh-oh. taking your mom? Then? Oh uh, no, <laughs> she's dead again. <laughs> Six years, boy. I hate these questions. <laughs> Everybody does that. Don't ask comedians that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people, well, what, what's your goal? Like, uh-huh. What do you think you see? What, like, what is it going to be like in five years? I don't know. Hopefully not fucking hanging from a fucking garage somewhere. <laughs> that's good. That's a good answer. Yeah, that's good. Not you know, killing I just want to fucking yeah. be respected in, this, in whatever scene I'm in. I just want to have a, a place to perform uh-huh. that I like. Um, you know, know. This is what you want or this is where you see yourself? This is where I see myself. <laughs> 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 fucking setting a low bar, bro. Six years, I'll be what forty. Uh, you know, maybe like a maybe a nice little house. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now house. we're talking. You know, little house, nice little house. All right, little house, and then uh, is that it? Is you anything else? You got a nice Man, car? I, yeah. 35,000 Instagram followers. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Let's Jeff, see. break off some Instagram followers for Steve. No way. They're mine. I'm hoarding them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you don't ever, you don't ever just message people. Hey, do me a favor. Follow, follow this other guy. Yeah. <laughs> Send out a mass message for people to follow me and Steve. I did get a, uh, I did get a comment shout out from our Curie and it got me a bump. Oh, you really? Went, you went from like, I was following you. I was like, oh, this I mean, Jeff Sheen's so funny. He's only got 3,000. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah, made yeah. me feel good about myself, you know? Mm-hmm. And then something happened and you just yeah. fucking exploded. The world discovered me. Oh, How did God. it happen? I don't know. Just reels popped off. Yeah, he had a couple of reels popped off and then he just. That's all I do is post reels. A couple of reels pop. I love it when I post a reel and then it's like the first hour, it's like, oh, this thing's rolling. It's yeah. going. It's going. And then That's it, that it just stops. I they think don't they show just, it to anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, why? I think they just. Did you give meet you with Instagram? Did you. Is there somebody that you fucking. I, I tossed it on and it, it was a couple cooked. I was posting off grid. That seemed to help in the beginning. What's posting that? What does that mean? You don't put it on your grid. Yeah, there's a little thing that says there. put on your profile and you turn that off. Mm-hmm. And that helps? This has seemed to help Jeff. It helped me a little bit. I got like 30,000, 40,000 views on some stuff when I did it like Cause that. Because you're, you're, you're kind of in the same boat as me. You're like, it's good stuff. People should be loving it. And it just doesn't show. It, it just doesn't pop. And, I, and every time I'm like, I love this thing that I'm posting today. Mm-hmm. Worst it ever does. And then I'm like, <laughs> this thing fucking, I'm just going to post something. This fucking sucks. And I shouldn't be posing it. Best thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Algorithm. Yeah. Cause I, if you throw it off grid, I think it shows it to people that don't follow you and then they can follow you. But if you put it on your grid, it's like your followers. Can you add first. it to the grid later? I think so. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think you can yeah. add it later. Interesting. I mean, it's a whole. Yeah, I mean, you got to get into Zuckerberg's head on this one. Yeah, you know? I, I wish. I feel I like you just got to meet somebody at Instagram that just was in. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great Graham Instagram. Huh? All right, I made that up. What do you think? I thought it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, last great. question here. Oh, we've done it. We did it. This is the final question that we ask everybody. The hot seat. Yep. Uh, what comedians got you into comedy? Who are your <laughs> <laughs> Who are your guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh man just, I, I mean it's just like Every podcast I've ever done It's like a warm hug dude. That question is a fucking Warm hug dude At this point Who were your guys yeah, Who were they Well 
I, I mean, I have Men such, I have such, yeah, like I have such lame girl. answers because it's just like everybody's, fu- you know, it was a, a Hicks guy when oh, I was younger. Okay. And then, um, I, bon- I really liked um, Brian Regan early on. Oh, we've oh, gotten yeah. a lot of Brian. And then I liked uh, Harlan Williams a lot. Harlan Williams, oh, that one's new. that's new. Yeah, I love Harlan. My first album was basically me doing Harlan Williams. Oh. Uh, like when you go back to like, you know, Fresh, she's fresh Stevie back in yeah. the day. It's I'm doing basically doing Harlan Williams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how I learned how to do it, you know. Um, and then Stan Hope, you know. Mm. Oh yeah, Stan Hope's great. Yeah. All right, so we got Hicks, Williams. Well, all right, that's fun. Good. Rory, but he's not. You know, I I got into him as I was further in. But all right, I'll put him. In I like the I like the like the you know social commentators, and then I like the absurd ridiculous guys like that that, that uh, too far ends of the spectrum big yeah. swings you like no middle acts huh no. nobody floating in the middle no he's not a, he wouldn't be he wouldn't like you oh yeah no. i'm perfect right down centered. the middle <laughs> jeffrey <laughs> jeff right down palatable yeah you remember you know? when you get naked as a child and burn army men yeah, yeah. and they're like right what down the middle comedy and like jeff then, then i go i love the police <laughs> and I go, he's back he's back <laughs> Uh, All right, let's see here. Let's see. You got Will Smith, the slap. You don't like that? I I, I appreciate the loyalty and brotherhood to our society. Uh, let good see. man, Steve. Scotty's letting you come in. That's nice. Five cops. You had a hard time on that one. I we'll really did. a little bit on that one. Minus one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I'm, I'm all right with that scoring. Uh, let's see. You don't, uh, you got to repeat yourself. You hate having to do that, but you didn't do it on the podcast. I didn't think so I did it one plus time. one on there. Great there you job. Go. Uh, you'll eat scorpions. I love that. Uh, let's see. Man, I'm not Salty dad. Bugs. You got a cool dad. I like that. <laughs> He's yeah. banging multiple chicks and having a weird family. I love that. That's cool. Dad. Uh, that's right. Let's see. And you got a Marvel superhero. Marvel's a good choice. All right, Steve. I'm gonna give solid eight point five. Eight point five. I feel like that's great. I feel like that is a, a high enough score that I can come back and do another episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah good. that's a good score. Listen, there's You're only not, one person that's not allowed back, and it's fucking Dan Yang. Yep, yep. Yang ate it. Graham got a seven and a half. Yep. What Why? Because he's Canadian mostly, right? Yeah. Top to car. 6.5. <laughs> One of our worst guests. That's a, yeah. That's, that's fair. Mm-hmm. So you get to do your plugs. Oh, wow. All right. Yep. You got over uh, five. Let's see if I can get some followers. Comic Gillespie is my Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's the same for TikTok. Are you guys on the talks? You talking oh, around? I'm Great Hang Podcast. Great Hang Pod on TikTok. Nice. And I also have, can I pitch this sh- big show that I'm Mm-hmm. Producing, oh, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, I and, and you probably have a lot of listeners in Denver. Uh, we actually have like 10. Nice, do we really? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Awesome. Oh, so, cool. Den- in Denver, Colorado, on August 26th, I am producing a very strange show called The Dose. It's a psychedelic uh, comedy showcase, and it's going to be done at an after hours um, rave venue, one of the only after hours clubs in Denver. It's a private membership only. It's open bar when you get Whoa, in. Oh, let's go. Um, people are probably going to be dosing and doing comedy, and it's going to be awesome. And that is, uh, if you go to the Dose Comedy Show um, on Instagram, you'll find it there. Or if you just go to my Instagram, you'll find it there as well. So cool. that new conscious is the venue. Oh, okay. So August 26, 10 30 p.m. If August you're in Denver, 26. check that out. Yes, please do. All right. Well, I know. Uh, well, call the police in Denver. Yeah, <laughs> call the police. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, mushrooms are legal in Denver, so damn. there you oh, go. Fine. Dropping this shit around, fucking classic narc, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, if you want, of course, follow me at hot underscore comic sixty nine. Check out the Great Hank podcast with Micah and I. And uh, if you want to, if you're in Arkansas, I will be in Little Rock, Arkansas, September thirteenth through the sixteenth. You're not doing the fucking. We're doing the Looney Bin. Yeah. <laughs> Who I'm let, is? I'm letting Tom Takar headline for me at the Looney nice. Bin. <laughs> Tom Takar is doing a fucking Looney Bin? He's doing Jesus. the Looney Bin. Comedy uh, is hard, bro. Text me, text <laughs> what me. a he hard said, life this fucking thing is. He Jeez. said, would you please come to this? It's one of the worst weekends I've ever done in my life. And I said, brother, <laughs> yeah, that sounds so perfect bad. for the Timster. 
So, I think I got laid there once. This is years and years ago, and I think it's because the lady just thought. I think she just felt bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Seriously. excited. I'm going to become your god. If you're in Arkansas, come see me. I'll be your hillbilly god and uh, buy my koozies. So that's it. That's all I got, Jeff. All right. Oh, and uh, the first Sunday of every month, I have my advice show at the gutter at 9 p.m. Oh, great. Yep. And uh, I'm, I'm it. Uh, Dallas Comedy Club, August 11th and 12th. Oh, that place is wonderful. And follow me at New York Jeffrey. I Goodbye. love that place. Bye.